Hey folks, it's Troy at Microvelos Cameras here with some more used equipment for your consideration. Uh, as you all know, we've got the Nikon surprise discount going on right now in our used department, meaning anything in it that uh, is a Nikon product in our used department right now, uh, once you decide what it is you want to buy, you can draw a discount from the bucket. You might win anywhere between 5 to 20% off your used Nikon purchase. It so happens that we have a lot of used Nikon right now and we need to lighten that inventory and that's why we're giving you this deal. So come on in, check out our used Nikon gear and see what you might want to add uh, to, your, to your camera bag and knowing that you'll get at least 5%, maybe even up to 20% off that purchase. So come on down. What I wanted to showcase today uh, is three lenses that I recently got to play with this past weekend that I think are very much worth your consideration. Uh, I'm a big fan of prime lenses. I think they tend to be sharper than zoom lenses. Uh, they often are smaller and more lightweight, and I just think they make uh, make my, my my photography more decisive. You know, I, I can't be lazy with a prime lens. If I want to change my composition, I gotta move. I can't be uh, locked in one position and just zoom at my convenience. Nope, I've got to move my feet, and I think that's pretty cool. The three lenses that I have for you today uh, that I got to play with a little bit this weekend are a Nikon Series E 28mm 2.8 lens, Series E 50mm 1.8 lens, and a Nikkor QC 200mm f4 lens. Um, they're all pretty cool, they're all pretty old, and they're all in really great working condition. So that 28mm lens is selling for $85. The 50 millimeter lens is selling for 70 and this 200 millimeter lens could be a cool portrait lens, could be a cool telephoto lens, uh, that nice ap aperture of f4 blurs out the background really cool. This thing is selling for just 50 bucks and that's all before you choose the discount from the bucket. So get in here and check out these manual focus lenses. You can use them on your old Nikon film SLR if you want or use them on a, a more modern-ish Nikon DSLR, or if you do want to adapt them to a mirrorless camera, whether it's a Nikon Z6 II like I did, or a Sony, or an Olympus, or a Canon mirrorless, any of these mirrorless cameras, it's really easy uh, to adapt older manual focus lenses across brand lines with a photo deox adapter, and we do have most of those photo deox adapters in stock, so come in and check those out too. But this weekend, I used the Nikon FTZ2 adapter to put these manual focus lenses onto this Nikon Z6 II, which we also have in stock new and we have in rental. Great camera, uh, so maybe rent it or buy it, whatever fits your fancy. Again, I used the FTZ2 adapter to attach these manual focus lenses. Then, to make the manually focusing process easier, uh, I did turn on focus peaking. So as I turn the focus ring, what the camera thinks is most crisp, is most sharp, gets outlined in red. And that does make manually focusing a lens awful easy. But to even be even more sure about the process, uh, I did take the FN2 button here inside the grip on the right hand side, and I did program that button to magnify the image to 100%. So as I was making photographs, it was just took one tap of that button with my finger right in there, and then the viewfinder zoomed to 100%, and I could quite easily see what was going on and make sure that the image was as sharp and focused, uh, as sharp as possible, and was as focused as could be where I wanted it to be. So, between focus magnification and focus peaking, it is really easy to manually focus these old vintage lenses. So, please come in here check them out. No matter what brand of mirrorless camera you're working with, you can adapt these lenses to it. And that is pretty neat. Uh, I think it will give your photography a different look of sorts. A lot of people are sort of into that whole analog, vintage old school sort of look about their photography now, and I think that's what's leading a lot of people to shoot more film. We've been seeing a lot of that. Um, but if you don't want to go that far, if you don't want to shoot film and pay for film and processing and all that, which of course we can do for you, and happily do for you, uh, maybe you just want to use a vintage film era lens instead, and we've got plenty of those for your consideration. So, thank you for listening again, and I hope you come down and uh, check this action out, because we got a lot of great stuff here for you. Okay, thank you very much.